hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's uh, formulation video we are going to make our own foaming hand wash this hand wash is different from other hand wash you might have come across and that it is highly moisturizing so it's not going to dry out your hand it's going to you know keep it very stable now the first thing you want to do is to add your surfactant blends together that's the first step okay then you add your essential oil to it then we will add subsequent ingredient so for this um, professional moisturizing hand wash you will find the formula at naturalskincarescoot.com it's our formulation project 28 okay it's going to be a foaming hand wash that's highly moisturizing so we're going to be using surfactant blend ultra you know this surfactant blend that's what we'll be using it's called isoloc ultra mild available at 20 points so we also be using um a solubilizing surfactant capri capri gla uh, glucoside i'm going to use that to solubilize the essential oil i will be using it's very essential that you follow okay the uh, formulation guide which is available at naturalskincarescoot.com uh, it's very very helpful you need to follow that formulation guide it's going to help you very well so this is a two-phase formula we have our water phase okay then we have our surfactant phase and then finally we have our you know essential oil and um, and the other phase but what i do is that i first set out my surfactant phase because our capri capri glucoside is a solubilizing surfactant i measure it and i use it to solubilize the essential oil i want to use So I'm going to add my essential oil to my um, to capri capri glucoside, okay, to solubilize it. I'm going to mix it very well. So now that it's uh, properly solubilized, I'm going to add my main surfactant blend Isoloc Ultra to it. I'm going to mix it very well. It involves a lot of mixing. And I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to set out another beaker to, to set my oil face, that water face ingredient. So you measure your distilled water head to naturalskincarescoot.com and look for formulation project 28 then you know the exact amount of distilled water to use in this amazing ingredient the uh, foaming end wash then we'll add our glycerin to it And we're done with the water phase ingredient. People do ask me, do I add oil to water or water to oil? This is not really an emotion, so you can just you can do add it whichever way. So I'm going to add my water to oil while mixing. 
you have to miss whisk her gently then I'm going to add my extract botanical extract for extra moisturizing effect This is essential if you want to have a moisturizing hand uh, wash. I have two botanical extract in this, aloe vera and calendula. Just make sure you follow the formulation guide step by step when and when to add. And also follow this video to see exactly how I make it then because is we use water we need a broad spectrum preservative and my preservative of choice here is liquid jammer plus we're going to use that at uh, the manufacturer recommended rate of 0 0.5 percent And the final step is to add it to a pump bottle because it's a foaming hand wash we're going to use a pump bottle to store it when using oil in your in your a cleansing formulation make sure you use a solubilizer it's very important because that is going to help you solubilize your oil for easy mixture as you can see it's very clear now with the exception of the foam right it's very clear if we did not solubilize our oil it will not come clear the oil is going to stay suspended okay on top of it so keep that in mind going forward when you are making uh, any product with surfactant you have that that you're going to add oil to you have to first solubilize your oil and the best way to solubilize your oil is to use a solubilizing surfactant like um, capri capri glucoside is a very good very very you know stable solubilite a uh, non-ionic solubilizing surfactant thank you so much everyone for watching if you want to learn more about making great and stable skincare but this is a channel for you so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos now to get the exact formula i use um, this is a formulation you can make to sell okay it's step by step extra tip that i didn't mention in this video because of time constraint uh, head over to naturalskincareschool.com search for formulation project 28 that project is going to show you okay this more step-by-step -step instruction substitution advice if you want to substitute this for other essential oil or you can use other botan botanical uh, extract depending on the skin type you are formulating for so head over to naturalskincareschool.com and um, and sign up okay to have access to that and this is a very very rich rich rich, rich hand washer I usually do not go without showing this to you so basically you just open it and you squeeze some and that's it very rich foam it has very rich foaming property you know gentle also on the end it's not going to dry out your hand okay highly moisturized and rich you know it will not strip off you know your skin of excess oil okay it will not dry out your hand this is why this uh, 
surfactant blend is very very different How, however if you do not have the exact formula it may be a bit hard so head over to naturalskincareschool.com to get the exact formula suggestion advice okay substitution advice also to make a professional version of this this of uh, hand wash happy formulating everyone remember to be a great formulator you have you know to practice your formulation and what other way can you practice your formulation except by visiting naturalskincareschool.com okay very beautiful it won't over dry your hand as you can see i haven't put on any cream but you can see my hand right now if i put on any cream that's much better that's the power of the botanical extract we had it to this uh, very very great hand wash so thank you so much everyone for watching see you in my next uh, formulation video